dyeing is a technique you can use to add color to your projects. You take something that's a neutral color, like this white doily, and dye them any color that you want. All you have to do is take a little bit of water, add a few drops of reinker to it, and then dip the doily in. And depending on how long you leave it in is how dark the color will become. And then just lay it on some paper towels to dry. Here's one that I did a little bit earlier that's completely dry so you can see what it looks like. But if you don't want to go to all that fuss, but you still want the look of dip dyeing, let me show you a couple of faux dip drying techniques. Now the faux dip dyeing technique is great to use on our 7th, 8th inch cotton ribbon because it has a little bit of a finish that repels water. So this is a great technique to use for that. What you'll need is just a couple of markers. Start with the lighter color first and you'll just color the ribbon. It's always important to start lighter because you can always go darker. Okay, once I have that layer done, then I'll go ahead and put in a little bit of the dark. The first color was Pink Pirouette, and this color is Melon Mambo. Now I've put this on a paper towel because now I'm going to use one of our aqua painters to blend the color. So you'll just kind of squeeze a little bit of water out of your aqua painter, and then just blend that line a little bit, make it so that it's a little bit more blurry, and then you can take that up higher. And you just keep playing with it until you get the desired look that you want. So it kind of has that darker color at the bottom. So here's one that I did a little bit earlier so you can see what it looks like when it's completely dry. Now another way you can do this is to use your aqua painter again and actually paint the colors on. So I've put about 10 drops of strawberry slush reinker into a little empty button container. I'm gonna use my aqua painter again, and I'll just dip it in and start applying the color to my ribbon. Now this will take just a little bit longer because as I mentioned before, it has a little bit of coating on the ribbon so it doesn't take the color um, as well until you get it a little bit wetter. So you just keep working that in. And then you can go back and make it as dark as you want. And then move up the color just a little bit so that it gets a little bit darker. Just keep working with it. Okay, and I would probably go back and just keep trying to get a darker line here at the bottom. So just keep playing with it. Here's one that I did a little bit earlier so you can see what it looks like when it's completely finished. So two really easy techniques that you can do to get the faux dip dyeing effect. So the next time you're wanting to add a little bit of color to your projects, like this box right here, we dip dyed the doily and we did the coloring on the ribbon. You can give dip dyeing a try or the faux dip dyeing technique a try. Until next time, happy stamping.